Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Or probably more likely gentle gamers. But today we're going to be talking about skirmish. Okay, we all have heard of skirmish to be the, um, to be this one. Um, you have to join Fury Fabris five battles. I I've been in skirmish before. That that's where I got my avatar. See. Uh, let's see. Where's my avatar? Yeah. See. And today I want to see the top five best. Things to use in skirmish mode. Let's go. Number five will be the Tiger Two. Why the Tiger Two? Because the Tiger Two both is a trollish thing. It boasts decent mobility, just enough to go through one half end of the other map, which is basically what it is. It's a half, half, half a map that actually is like what you're going on. <clears throat> so yeah, it has great mobility. It also has trollish armor. I mean, look at that angle on the whole. Yeah, the trollish armor and good gun plus nice DPM. Basically, the Tiger 2 has everything just enough to cover one end of the map and possibly even hold against, like, lots of eagles. And that's true, alright? So, like, don't, don't you dare underestimate the power of the Tiger 2. Most of the things I never bought him. I plus one. People probably want to be the KV4. Why the KV4? Because, I mean, it has tr frontal trollish armor. And remember about that, and of course, at one time got buffed up to have the armor on the whole be 200 millimeters. So, and of course, same for the cupola and the turret. That's what makes this tank troll. But it's still great DPM, totally. Uh, so like yeah, you should totally use the KV4 if you can if you can master it. Another thing will be the SU-152. Yes, I have this thing. What makes this thing be perfect is about its howitzer. Yes, it has a howitzer, not a gun. Um, uh, using this gun, it makes no difference. It's just more of a higher DPM and more penetration. And there's no difference, like you can tell, it's between that or that. And there's like. We have the 122mm, which you can use if you like to go through lots of positions or basically there's lots of tanks because you need the high DPM and rate. So there's like lots of tanks, but um, not really that much tanks, but like they're pretty darn good. We collect tanks, and this is like the perfect gun. I totally recommend to actually go and like sink into the positions. Um, you know what I mean. But it's also a very great tank. Mm. Another tank. Let's see if we could take a look at the Americans. No. Oh. Uh, let's see. Wait, well, next will probably want to be the LTG. Where's the LTG? Because he got. Because this thing is strategic. It has a great strategy. Its playstyle is nice. Sometimes you can, this thing goes off to a battle without even, f like, possibly just goes on without even firing a single shot. This thing probably even fires only like five shots, and boom, it's like the end for the LTB. Basically, put the firing. Got actually a pretty nice tank. God, you have frontal armor. You do have. Yes, we all know the battle, but you have. Slope, so basically, like you probably will survive this thing with back a lot because remember, it goes also by the slope. And I've been like in the Tiger 2 before, and when I was approximately at this angle, they'll probably, they probably penetrated me. But still, I mean, if, if when I when I did that on the K4, I was like just troll. Another team will be the T3485. 
33485 be here for number for number two and gives you get trollish armor and tier fuck six front is slope so basically you don't have to worry about anything only f f lots of things will penetrate you but uh, as long as it but when they will load the healer they're probably gonna fail to do shit on you to do lots of stuff on you because this thing is sloped look at the sides look at the front and look at the back it's all sloped so basically you have Every single whatever you need. This thing is the like a whatever you want of this thing. And of course, last one. Number one. Number one out of all would be yes, it'll be the option two six eight. Why kids to get great penetration? I mean, just look. 303 bloody millimeters of penetration. A huge alpha damage. That basically is... Uh, this thing also has very good accuracy, so like you don't have to worry about anything. You have a great DPM and a great reload time, so basically you have to worry about zero subnos. There's nothing you have to worry about. You got a great drill at him, which is actually balanced. How are you like the guy? Then you got the huge damage. Which I don't know why, but working mean this is totally a balanced thing image. And the alpha is just great enough to one shot at E seventy five or E one hundred, kaboom up a chieftain. Or possibly even just one shot of grill. So I guess this thing also has both trollish front armor, which is not really that great of other tank shores, but still is great. It's better than most tank shores like the grill or the FE215. So yeah, and also has very great mobility. It's not really greater like than the grill and stuff. Nor the object 263, but it has the mobility of a IS-8. Why is this thing built on the chassis of a IS-8? Well, now guys, prepare your butts for the... Prepare for the skirmish battles. We are gonna have to start then rolling, trolling, and boom! We're gonna possibly, like... Because, how do I know about skirmish? Uh, I've been in here, so you got, you're gonna fight in like half a map and like, uh, like, inside, like, you guys all go into one place. See, you got, you all spend the same like, action. That's what I mean. So basically, like, yeah. We're gonna, what are we gonna win? <clears throat> So, yeah, we're gonna win a verse for it. And so, yeah, good, uh, good day. Yeah, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you just really like this. So, good luck, the squirrel, and see you next time.